This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, hello there, hello there. It's Jeff Cutter. I welcome you to another sports catastrophe on this day. And on this day, April the 4th, E-I-E-I-O. NC State just made a big upset. E-I-E-I-O. Taking out by Slamma Gemma with Elijah Wen and Drexler. Winning the trophy for Jimmy Falmano, who danced around all around the court. And the final shot was an air ball. That was supposed to go to the net, but it was dunked because it never hit some of the was illegal alley play. NC State won the 83 title. E-I-E-I-O. Anyway, the 1983 NCAA tournament had 52 schools play to be the champion. The winner, the championship was played at the Pitt, a.k.a. the University of New Mexico Arena. There were a lot of games. NC State, as I said, beat Houston 54-52 in a very hardcore game. And, you know, the game ending was famous because of Lorenzo Charles' buzzer beating dunk off the desperation shot from Derek Wittenberg. It's been Charles' dunk and Falvado's running around the court in celebration was, has been staples of NCAA tournament coverage ever since. NC State's victory is one of the greatest upsets in college basketball history and the fourth biggest point spread upset in history. Akeem Olajuwon actually won the MVP award despite Houston not winning the title. Well, I'll talk about the championship game later, but basically the four groups. Each each region had 12 seeds, had 12 teams per region. They would do what they would call a play-in game to see who gets a 12 seed. LaSalle, Robert Morris, Alcorn State, and Princeton were 12 seeds who got in. And in each region, the top four teams from each region by seeding would move on to the second round and then reach those semis and finals. The other four, the other eight teams would have to play four games to decide who gets into the second round of the regionals. Georgia won the East region as the four seed. They took care of Virginia Commonwealth narrowly, 56-54, in the second round. They got the bye, obviously. They took care of the one seed, St. John's Red Storm, who would come back in two years to get to the Final Four, and then they would beat North Carolina. Yes, Michael Jordan was on that team. He was just a uh, sophomore, but yeah. MJ almost went to, to another Final Four, and yeah, they took out the defending champions. The West region saw the underdogs, the big underdogs, the six-seat NC State Wolfpack. They had to face Pepperdine in a, pl in a playing game just to face UNLV. NC State had to go through double overtime, but they managed to somehow sneak past Pepperdine. They would face UNLV and narrowly beat the running Rebels. They would then have to face the really upstart number 10 seed Utah Utes. Utah had to beat number 7 Illinois to get to the second round of the West. And then they shocked number 2 UCLA by 6 points. NC State crushed Utah. Weird. But then NC State had to face their ACC rivals, the team that beat them, that they had to beat in the ACC title game just to get to the NCAA tournament. Virginia with Ralph Sampson, and they took and they and they won. Surprise, surprise, sixty-three, sixty-two. One of the best games ever. Louisville won the Mid East region as the one seed. They took care of Tennessee. They got their revenge on Arkansas after that U.S. reach shot from nineteen eighty-one. And they took care of Kentucky, 80-68, in overtime. You're thinking, wait a minute, Louisville won by 12 in overtime? Well, I guess they were being around the bush. The Midwest region saw the one seed, Houston Cougars, easily move on. They beat Maryland by 10, Memphis by 7, and Villanova by 18. In the Final Four, NC State would face Georgia. The two ones, the two non-number one seeds would face each other in the semifinal. It wasn't... Like, set up that, okay, well, the two one-seeds should face each other in the final. It was just basically because of the of the way it is. East versus West, Mid-East versus Midwest. That was the setup. NC State would somehow beat Georgia 67-60. And I believe this was after, Georgia, this was a few years after Dominique Wilkins left. Yeah. Houston would take care of Louisville in the Battle of the one seed, 94-81. NC State would then win the national championship game, but we'll get to that later. 
Louisville and Houston were actually the one and two seeds in the NCAA rankings before the tournament, which was weird. However, one, there was another significant game. Kentucky and Louisville had not faced each other in basketball, even though they were in-state rivals since 1959. However, with this Louisville-Kentucky game, they actually set the Battle of the Bluegrass basketball series. Basically, Kentucky and Louisville would play each other once every regular season since 1983. That's pretty good. Georgia shocked everyone. He was actually the... They were, they were the last team to date that actually went to the Final Four in their first ever tournament appearance. Georgia never went to the NCAA tournament. NC State would be called the Cinderella team, which would basically talk about Villanova in 85, Gonzaga in 99, George Mason in 2006, Butler in 2010 and 2011, VCU in 2011, Wichita State 2013, Loyal 2018, and UCLA 2021. I was shocked. Yeah, as I said, the Wolfpack did not assure themselves of the tournament bid until they won the ACC championship. So now we get the championship game, which was huge. NC State led by eight points at halftime. Clyde Drexler picked up four first half fouls. One more foul and Drexler was booted to the sideline. However, the Cougars had a second win and all that. And things weren't good for Houston because of the mile high altitude in Albuquerque. Hakeem Olajuwon had troubles adjusting to the environment and tired quickly. And because of his altitude problems, Houston needed to slow the game down. And remember, this is before the shot clock came back, came through. So basically, they were trying to look for the last shot in the final minute, NC State was. Winnenberg decided to try to a shot the trajectory got it to Lorenzo Charles Elijah was covered Lorenzo Charles but he but he hesitated Elijah one did because he thought that the ball if it hit the cylinder was goaltending so basically Charles took advantage of the indecision and actually got the dunk and because it did not the ball was not in the cylinder or near the rim. Technically, that was a legal play, and NC State ended up winning the game. Houston fans were not too happy. But then again, who would be? So yes, NC State won. Joe Valvano was a hero forever. It was great to see NC State take it to everyone. They won the 74 title, too. But yeah, NC State, great job. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.